that's your girl on here with another video so if you are a new subscriber welcome to the fam and if you are a current subscriber welcome back so this video is going to be all about the new morphe 35m palette i have been waiting so long to get this palette oh my god one of my really good friends got this for me for my birthday and i it's just we just couldn't link it was just like forever for us to link up in order to exchange gifts so she got me this for my birthday and what i got her for her birthday i'm actually going to be giving as a giveaway to you guys just to show my appreciation for all the love and support so let's get into this palette so this is like brand new to me i absolutely have been loving all the swatches i've seen all the reviews i've already seen about this palette i have just been waiting patiently and i finally got it so let's open this up and see what we got oh look at how pretty it is guys isn't it beautiful oh my god i love it it's so pretty so they have all the names of the shadows like on this plastic flap here so i wish morphe would make the palettes where they would just like write the names underneath so it would be a lot easier but whatever maybe one day but isn't it so pretty look at that it's perfect it's perfect for fall but it's muted colors like all deep warm tones but they're still bright and wonderful i absolutely love this so let's get into this look let's start messing in these colors right all right what are we gonna do first let's zoom in all right so now i have zoomed you guys in let's see what we can create i want to create something like kind of simple something that we can do like for everyday looks nothing too extravagant because i plan to use this palette often yes so let's get into it all right guys let's dip into this palette so first we'll use play it cool and this color, I don't know. It just didn't work very well. I don't know if it was because I didn't set my eye. Like, I put concealer. But I've been leaving it kind of sticky like that because I usually get, like, a lot better pigmentation that way. But this time, it didn't work out that well. So I switched brushes. And now I'm using my... This is from BH Cosmetics Marble Set. And this brush really blended it out well. So even if you get a color that doesn't work well, you still have to use it on both sides because you want both eyes to look the same. So I just blended my life away until the color blended out exactly the way I wanted it to look. So just blend, blend, blend until it blends out perfectly, which it did. So now I'll dip into Candy Crush. This is a beautiful brick like ready brick kind of shade and it's absolutely beautiful and as you can see if this one blends out a whole lot better than that previous color so I didn't really have much blending to do here as you can see it blends out right away so then accidentally I dipped into sweet beets instead of candy crush as you can see that one is a lot redder than the first one but Makeup is all about experimentation, and so let's go with it. So I'll just blend this out, and then I'll make sure I use Candy Crush on that side as well, and I use Sweet Beats on the other side. That way both sides have the same colors blended in, and I still get a nice look on both eyes. And I'm actually really loving the way this is turning out. You just blend, blend, blend your whole life away until you get that nice gradient edge. So now I'm going to dip into Hot Stuff. I love that, how that name sounds and how it's spelled. It's spelled H-A-W-T, I love it. But anyway, this is such a beautiful foil shade, like a bronzy color. I have worn this color several times since I recorded this video and when I tell you that this color 
The pigmentation lasts all day long. I mean, literally all day long. I absolutely love it. And it's perfect for fall. So when I'm doing this, I like to blend it down into my inner corner. I'm still going to use an inner corner highlight, but I like how it looks when the, the inner corner highlight is topped over the lid shadow. Isn't it just so beautiful, guys? I love this color. So now I'm going to dip into Sparks Fly just to deepen that outer corner just a bit. Smoke it out just a bit, make it a little bit more sultry and sexy. Symmetry is key. You always want both sides to look the same. You know, some people are able to work from one eye to the next. Honestly, guys, I am not. I have to do them both evenly at the same time or else I look like a freaking clown. <laughs> so now I'm taking a clean brush and just buffing out the edges. just so that there are no harsh lines and no harsh edges. So I'm gonna spray this tiny flat brush and I'm going to dip into Pop Star and put that right on my inner corner. The reason for wetting the brush is so that the color pops out of control as you can see. Look at how beautiful that is. Oh my God, I love it. It's so pretty. Isn't that pretty? I love it. And you see how wetting the brush makes it pop so much more. So now I'm gonna dip into Stroke of Luck and I'm just gonna blend that into my, on my bottom lash line just to give a little pop of color. You know, I love my looks a little bit dramatic, but not too much. So my pops of color are usually pretty small. All right, so now I'm gonna finish the rest off camera and I'll be right back with my thoughts about this palette. So this is the finished look. So let me tell you guys my final thoughts on this palette. So this is not my first Morphe palette. I have numerous Morphe palettes and I always love the pigmentation. Uh, mattes are always really soft and buttery and the shimmers are always really, really foily. You always can get them to just pop out of control. That's what I absolutely love about Morphe palettes. No matter what, you can have it be light, you can have it be heavy, any kind of look you're looking for, you can achieve it with the Morphe palette. Whether you're a professional or a beginner, I absolutely love them. So absolutely, I recommend this palette. If you have not already, pick it up on their website, pick it up at Ulta, pick it up at Ricky's, get your hands on this palette, yes. So if you like this video, please subscribe and like. 
and make sure you comment let me know if you like this look let me know if there's any looks that you guys would like to see me do and i'll see you guys next time bye Mwah.